Aloha friends. Hey, I'm just trying. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm in my bedroom because my my studio is a hot mess of all my scentsy warmers that's on top of my desk. So I kind of did not want to <laughs> didn't want to have that vibe. <laughs> if I don't see it, it's not there kind of thing. I have OCD issues, so that room right now is my my zone room and it's chaotic so I gotta like shut it out of my mind <laughs> all right so I'm in my bedroom it's going to be a scentsy video with you guys of scents um warmers and scentsy warmers and scents that I have been enjoying I think within the past week because it's been about a week since I uh filmed for you guys and then also I have another video of an unboxing um, as well as sharing the the warmer of the month uh, with you guys and then um, that's that's it I think just two videos but let me just I feel I'm yellow or orange and I feel I'm it's all about the angles because you guys know I gotta hide my COVID chin oh, it's getting worse and worse <laughs> okay aloha friends okay Oh, I have just a couple. Let me just clear off my desk because, like I said, I have OCD issues. Everything has to be aligned. Okay, so let me just, um, to show you guys, make sure that, to share the ones that I'm using into my bedroom lately and such. If you guys can see, my bedroom has a diffuser. Um, I like to uh, use the diffuser into my room and then I have a, a Scentsy warmer that's going to be part of my video that I'm going to show with you guys today. I apologize. I'm just kind of testing this out because I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. All right. So into my room, I have been enjoying Coastal Strawberry because Bring Back My Bar voting happened, um, I think the, the last day was like two or three days ago. So every single day during Bring Back My Bar, I was voting for Coastal Strawberry and, whew, is it here? No, it's not here. Oh, hold on, friends. Oh. <laughs> all right. I think I'm ready, friends. Total hot mess, but it's all right. We're going to get through this together, okay, as long as you guys have patience with me. So, catch my breath, I had to get it. So the two scents that I have been enjoying into my bedroom um, after the, I think it was peach nectar that I had in here, uh, was uh, Kahikuhula Coastal Strawberry. Currently I have, oh my god, Kahikuhula. I just took a little sniff. <laughs> um, currently I have Coastal Strawberry in here and then um, Kahikuhula off and on kind of switching it off because of the Bring Back My Bar voting session that, um, that is now finished. We voted for the most popular items that you feel should come back and or not popular but favorites and I have been waiting for Kahikuhula to be on that list ever since they took it out. I think it was two years ago now, right? Two, two years ago? And then Coastal Strawberry. Kahikuhula, friends. Oh, it's just a very nice tropical scent and I do believe it was on the top 20. That could be because me voting. I was voting on Kahikuhula, all of it, like five votes every time and then within five minutes you can vote again and then I'll vote for Coastal Strawberry and then if that if my browser is still on, I'll vote, vote, vote for the same scent again. You know, it's just switching it back and forth. That's how much I love these two scents. And I hope, 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 please pray, please pray, Sensi God, that um, they will bring these two back, okay? But Kahikuhula, my all-time, all-time favorite tropical scent. I, you guys know how much I love this. It's just, it's just a nice tropical paradise. Coastal Strawberry. This to me is just a field of, oh my gosh, a field of freshly picked strawberries without it smelling like candy or artificial or I'm making hot cocoa bombs, hot chocolate bombs without it feeling or smelling as if it's fake. <laughs> oh, those imitation strawberry scents, okay? It's just a, it's just a, a little girly feeling for me of her in her nice pretty spring dress and she's just hopping along into the strawberry fields of 
Neverland. <laughs> okay, so just love those. Peach Nectar, I'm still showing it. I did share this onto my last video because I'm still warming this onto my bathroom and then I believe Danica's room. Peach Nectar. So can't go wrong with Peach Nectar as well. And then because I was warming Kehiko Hula, I also finished up my Kamu Kamu. Kamu Kamu, oh my goodness. Kamu Kamu is number three out of my tropical uh, favorites. First it's Kahiku Hula and then Havana Cavana and then um, Kamu Kamu. Okay, can't go wrong with those. All right, so now to other three cents. I just have another three cents to share with you guys. Coco Lime, oh my goodness. Coco Lime, oh, it, it reminds me of, okay, Coco Lime reminds me of Lemon Sorbet but into a lime form. Ah, that's it. So if you love lemon sorbet, if you love lemon sorbet into that lemony scent, then you're going to love coco lime because to me, it's exact. It's almost similar to lemon sorbet of just that. Oh, it's hard to explain lemon sorbet, but instead of lemon sorbet, it should be lime sorbet. That's what they should have name this lime sorbet it just um it's similar but different <laughs> i don't know if that's helping you guys mahalo coconut so i went through the new catalog i have not ordered the new catalog yet by the way but um other consultants have ordered it and shared it on youtube of the you know the sniffs the first sniffs and mahalo coconut is one of those returning scents it was one of my favorite during spring and summer i had added it onto my scentsy club so now i'm going to take that out of my scentsy club because i know that it's coming back for the spring and summer but mahalo coconut is a nice very refreshing spa like scent it's just it's just a neutral neutral scent no no spices no florally no kind of it's just nice and in between i love that and those are all the scents that i'm kind of except for my very tropical and strawberry those are the kind of scents that i i've been focusing on within um the week or within the past week and this week because i wanted to get away from all that um holiday scent the other one speaking of that is that i went through a whole bar of my one of my most favorite um i would call it like a spa the the spa set um all-time spa scent it's the aloe water and cucumber uh of scentsy it's uh it's just amazing it's an amazing again neutral scent it's just to me this one along with the mahalo coconut they're sort of like it's it's the same family to me within the same family of just like light scents it's a perfect light sense for um doctor's office dentist's office any office that you would go to because it's not overpowering especially um you know the bathrooms where you have visitors coming in and out um really nice and neutral scent so i shared with you guys one two three four five six seven seven cents so that's a lot but only because the three cents of the tropical and then the peach nectar was actually just showing you that it's i'm still using it and then those three um the two favorites of the bring back my bar and then the kamu kamu but actually it's just these three um as well that i've been sharing let me go ahead and show you a couple of warmers not all of them because i'm gonna run out of warmers to show you guys but um just a couple of warmers into my home and then um especially the the two area here into my bedroom i'll show you guys my bedroom today um how's that okay right, I'll see friends, you so <laughs> this is the other side of that desk where i was filming and i have a sensi warmer in here this is the the twinkle sensi warmer that has kahiku hula okay I really like this warmer because it's just filled with like sparkles okay very elegant very classy warmer okay. pretty it goes really well with uh, silver decor and then it stands out when you put it next to like a rose gold or gold um, decor as well this one is a Scentsy diffuser 
and I believe it's the Empower shade that I have for this one. Now with this Sensi diffuser, even though it's on, if you guys can see the mist, okay, um, I do not have any oil onto this one because I did not want anything to kind of battle out with the, the scent that I'm using onto this warmer. So I just chose to put water in here without any oil and still have it turned on and still have it with the changing of the LED light colors. Okay, if you guys notice, let me see if I can. Okay, here's the red color. I believe that's like orange. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Yellow like a green, uh, dark green, blue, that pink, purple, there you go. All right, friends, this is the same, um, Ikea Alex for my makeup drawer that I've shown you guys before. I rearranged my bedroom due to the, the Christmas tree. So now it's back to where it was before, um, which is just by our window. But I did add on uh, another warmer in here. This one I showed you guys uh, last time, which is the, I believe it's called the Harbor's Edge warmer. I just turned them both on. But this one has Kahikuhula, and then this one also has Kahikuhula. And this is the Chic Warmer that I showed you guys an unboxing. But then I had sent it back to Scentsy because I had issues with the, um, the white part of the warmer. This one, it's not so bad. I think there's just like a little imperfection here and there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. But I don't expect it to be 100% perfect. I think there's one right there. But overall, this warmer um, is amazing. I love the simplicity of it, of it being white and gold. And the little imperfection, I think, just adds on to the, the beauty of the, the warmer. I love the gold um, accent and then how it curves um kind of outward and then it has the like the white bubbly um effect to it of the the warmer and as it goes in here it kind of curves more than it does like around here so um very pretty i do like it and i'm happy with it i don't need to send it back for those little um issues which is just a um, small one right there i don't think you can even see it on the on the camera but it's an amazing warmer and then this one is no longer available this was a warmer i bought maybe a year or two ago and like i shared with you guys on my other video it has a lot of meaning because this reminds me of our small waterfront hometown uh, north seattle we have ferries we have the boats we have people fishing crabbing and then we have a lighthouse and then there's these houses um along the waterfront and lots of seagulls and then the boat then my little ray dunn stay humble sign all right friends as always thank you guys for visiting a simply simple scent